seven three work together. Our directions tell us to use the plant asset records from work together seven two. So um, I actually have my stuff from seven one and seven two printed out um, to make it easier in case we need both of them. A general journal, cash receipts journal, cash payments journal, and additional plant asset records are provided for us. The following transactions occurred in 20 FPS5. Source documents are abbreviated. Um, so we have five transactions. Um, and our first direction, number one, says we're going to journalize additional depreciation if needed. And then we need to journalize the disposal of each plant asset. Okay, so um, our first one on January 6th, it says that we discarded a printer. Um, so what we need to do is we actually need to look at that printer um, plant asset record sheet. So I'm going to go back to 7-1. I'm going to find my printer plant asset record sheet. Um, and it says that we discarded it on January 6th. So actually... Um, for that one, we're not going to have any depreciation um, from that year five because we're discarding of it at the beginning of the year. So what we need to do is we need to actually get rid of um, that plant asset. So I'm going to go to my general journal. And my date is January 6th. And I'm going to debit accumulated depreciation. And that was office equipment and M165. And I'm going to debit it for 840. And then I'm going to credit office equipment for 840. So that gets rid of the depreciation um, and the office equipment um, for that printer that we disposed of. Okay, next one is March 28th. And on March 28th, or sorry, March 29th, um, it says that we received cash for sale of conveyor table number 326, $500, memorandum 182, and receipt number 321. So a uh, hint there, they're giving us two source documents, so that tells us we need to make two different transactions. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to record the depreciation. We sold it in March, and we sold it at the end of March. So we need to record depreciation for that for three months. So I'm going to go to my general journal, March 29th, and I'm going to do depreciation expense. Um, we're saying, let's see here, we're selling that conveyor table. So for that conveyor table, that was warehouse equipment. And that was memorandum 182. And so we need to figure out um, the depreciation for um, those three months. We figured out annual depreciation to be $320. So we're going to divide that by 12. So that was 26.67. And we had, what, three months we said? So again, we're going to round and we're just going to use a flat $80. Okay, and then we're going to credit accumulated depreciation warehouse equipment for $80. Okay, so that was the first part of that transaction. Now we also need to record um, the sale, okay, and that we receive cash. So now I'm going to go to my cash receipts journal, March 29th. And I'm going to get rid of that accumulated depreciation warehouse equipment. Um, this was receipt 321. And so when I look at my plant asset record sheet for that one, um, my accumulated depreciation was 1280 after year five. And I'm going to, let's go ahead and figure out now if we have the loss or if we have the gain. Um, so what we need to do for that one is we're going to take our ending book value, which was 520, and we're going to subtract from it what we received. 
and it said that we received five hundred dollars for this so minus five hundred that gives me twenty dollars um, and that's going to be a loss okay because our ending book value was 520 it was worth more than what we received so I'm gonna put that in loss of plant asset and that's gonna be twenty dollars and then I also need to get rid of that warehouse equipment so I'm going to credit warehouse equipment for the cost of that conveyor table which was 1800 and then the last one I also need to have a cash debit in there because I received cash and that was 500 now remember since we have a lot of numbers here I do want to make sure that my debits equal credits okay next thing on June 25th we received cash for a sale of a desk number 289 $600 memorandum 195 receipt number 467 so again we're going to have two things that we need to record so first I'm going to go to my general journal and I'm going to record um, my depreciation for that partial year so this is going to be depreciation equipment or depreciation expense office equipment and Oh, okay. So I was looking back at my 7172. We don't have that in here. The desk is right here. Um, so here is our desk. Um, we actually need to figure out this. Um, so I'm going to put in my 20 year, 20X5 for year five. Annual depreciation, we figured out to be $200. Let's see here. We're selling at the end of June. So January, February, March, April, May, June, that's going to be six months of depreciation. So 200 divided by 12. That's, um, and then, oops. and then we'll take that times, what are we, six months of depreciation. Okay, so that's going to be $100 of depreciation there. Accumulated depreciation then will be 1100 and then our ending book value is going to be 400. Okay, so now I can go back up here. <clears throat> My memorandum was 195. And I'm going to record that year, that partial year of depreciation, which we figured out to be $100. Accumulated depreciation office equipment. I'm going to credit for 100. And then I need to go record that because I received money. So I'm going to go up to my cash receipts, June 25th. I'm going to debit my accumulated depreciation office equipment. This was receipt 467. So when I look down at my accumulated, we were at 1100. Okay, next I'm going to figure out if I had a gain or a loss on that plant asset. Um, so I'm going to look down. Um, my ending book value was $400. And we sold that plant asset for $600. So that means if, I, if it was worth $400, but I sold it for $600, that means that I had a gain on plant asset. So that means I'm going to credit for 200. Okay, I need to get rid of that office equipment. So I'm going to credit office equipment for the cost, which was 1500. And then I also need to record the money that we received. So the cash that we received was $600. Okay, my debits equal credits, so I'm good for that one. Oh, um, I do need to record 
this. So they give us our plant asset record sheet on this one to record that. Um, so we sold it. So, uh, oh, they want us to do a check mark. Hmm. Well, dang it, I don't know how to put in a check mark. Um, let's see here, we sold it on June 25th, though, of year five, and that was 600. Okay, well, if anyone figures out how to put in that check mark when you're doing this, you'll have to let me know so that I know in the future. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next one, so I'll get that wrong, but um, on my next one, December 27th, I paid cash $23,000 plus an old truck, number 332, for a new truck, number 392, memorandum 256, and check number 887. Um, so first I'm going to go to my, my asset record sheet that they gave me for a truck and I'm going to figure out year five and I'm going to figure out my annual depreciation. Now I sold it at the end of December, so that's a full year. So I'm going to put in that full year of 5,400. My new accumulated then will be 18,900. And my ending book value is going to be 13100 Okay, now I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to record uh, my depreciation. So on December 27th, depreciation, expense, and this is going to be warehouse equipment. That was memorandum 256, and we figured out the year to be 5,400. And then I'm going to credit accumulated depreciation warehouse equipment for 5,400. Okay, now on this one, it says that I paid cash. So that means I'm going to go to my cash payments. I'm going to put in my date of December 27th. I'm putting um, my warehouse equipment because first I'm going to record my new truck that I got. So that's going to be warehouse equipment. And I wrote that check, which was $887. So now I need to figure out how or what my new truck is worth. So I need to go down to my old truck and I need to look at my ending book value, which was $13,100. So it was worth that for the trade in. And then I also paid $23,000 in cash. So I'm going to add those two together. That means my new truck is $36,100. So I'm debiting warehouse equipment for that new truck. Then I need to put in my accumulated depreciation office equipment. Or not office, sorry. Warehouse equipment. Okay, and that's going to be for my old truck, so that's going to be 18, 9. And then I need to get rid of my old truck. So I'm going to do another um, one to warehouse equipment, but this time I'm going to credit warehouse equipment for my old truck, the cost of my old truck, which was 32000 Okay, again, I want to make sure that my debits equal credits. It looks good. Um, it looks like this is probably going to be all the time. I think I'm going to um, do the next transaction on the next video. Um, so you're going to want to go to the next video for our last transaction of December 29th.